about Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. What do you think? Well, so, I mean, I'm not super familiar with the Tomb Raider franchise. The lore, as it were. I've never played any of the games. I've never seen either of the previous two movies. Well, I've seen like bits and pieces of them on TV, but okay. I, I thought it was a decent action adventure film, mm -hmm. sort of you know Indiana Jones esque. Oh yeah, for a little sure. Like a National Treasure, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, a little like National Treasure, I'd say. I thought Alicia Vikander was pretty good in the role. Closer, I think, to the new Lara Croft than the old one, from what little I do know. Oh yeah, for sure. That was the intent, absolutely. Yeah. 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 There was a surprising amount of setup with the character. Like, I thought it was gonna jump straight into the tomb rating. Yes. And it didn't really. They did a good job of evolving her from, like, yeah, sure. Lara Croft was like, she wasn't sure about the world she was getting into, we could identify as her, and yeah. then, you know, we get thrown in. She Strong got more belief. development than yeah. I was expecting her to get. Yeah, for sure. and I like that. Dominic West was good, Walden Goggins, like, the, the whole supporting cast, they were yeah, all right. They didn't really have enough screen time to be terrible, I would say, almost. Yeah, it was pretty much just the Lara Croft show, yeah. which is, that's yeah. the, the whole point. The story was fairly predictable. I, I thought that uh, there, there wasn't too many twists or surprises. I mean, maybe a small twist at the end, but right. even that was sort of just like, oh, okay. The fate of humanity is now in your hands. And actually, I took issue with some parts of the first act of the movie, because mm -hmm. they did a lot of things that were silly and goofy, and they never played out, and I was actually worried that those silly and goofy things would set carry the through. bar. Yeah, they would carry through and set the tone for the rest of the movie. Thankfully, they did not, mm -hmm. and the second and third acts of the film were actually much better. Now, I know you said you didn't really like the third act so much. I just thought that all of the, the tomb puzzle shenanigans were, were underthought. They were, yeah. They weren't uh, emphasized too much. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, it was certainly, yeah, that was certainly underwhelming. I wish the puzzles were more, like... A little more Indiana Jones. Yeah, exactly. Like, they jump to solutions way too quickly. It's like if you got rid of the opening sequence where she's being chased around on a bike and replaced it with 20 minutes more of yeah, puzzle solving. Yeah, that's a good point. I would, yeah, that would just make a better action-adventure movie. You know what the whole part in the tomb... Because they only spend, like, 20 minutes in the tomb. Yeah. Like, right at the end of the movie. For, like, for a movie, movie called, called Tomb Raider. Raider. It's really disappointing. Yeah. Like, if you took the ending of uh, The Last Crusade, if that's Coca-Cola, this was, like, Diet Coke. That's you know hilarious. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Even the part where, you know, they're, they're, like, following the journal, and all of the clues oh, yeah. are, like, laid out in the journal. That's it was very, very much true. like, okay, I've seen this. That's very true, yeah. And it, that's been done better. In Before, the, that's you know? true. I just wish, I mean, I'll be honest, like, the movie was fun. It wasn't bad. No, I wish yeah. that it owned up to those puzzle bits a bit more. Yes. There was a lot of good references to the reboot video game. Right. Her wardrobe, the, the bow and arrow stuff. One of the injuries she gets is identical to okay. an opening. It just always just, like, nice little is thing. Her, was there any of the older games in this, or was it really just they're adapting the new one? Uh, the guns were definitely a reference to the older okay. game. I'll take two. Yeah, you clapped. <laughs> oh, oh I, I couldn't help myself. Like, the moment the camera, like, racked focus to those guns, I was like, ah, oh, yes! And I wouldn't mind seeing this become a movie series. Sequel baiting aside, which was a little cheesily done, but of course they'll do it. Yeah. I'd yeah. like to see a series. I'd like to see the Indiana Jones style of movie brought back to life this character-focused series of films about this sure. character going out and doing these crazy adventures and solving these puzzles. That'd be goddamn amazing. You know what? On that note, I think that if this had had a little bit more of a distinctive soundtrack, I think that would have gone a lot towards... I genuinely thought the exact same thing during one of those generic soundtrack moments. Yeah. yeah. It's like, give it something special, something unique. Even the National Treasure movies had a really yeah. great soundtrack. That's true, actually. Like, but yeah. Uh, that was fine. That was fine. Uh, it's an action movie. If you like action movies, probably like this movie. Is it theater-worthy? Not really. If you like the video game, definitely go check it out. Like, it's sure. worth, you know, I want Square Enix and stuff to be like, oh, hey, people responded, let's give them another one. Just in terms of, of uh, just being a straight-up action movie, I thought it was pretty good. It was fine. All right. All I right. would I would say check it out. Go pop pop on down to your local Blockbuster or the, when it comes out on VHS. And, <laughs> and just give, give it Betamax a watch. on Betamax, yes. yeah. There's one near you. Thank you very much for watching Bull Session. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe as well if you haven't yet. Leave a comment, let us know what you thought of Tomb Raider, Rise of the, of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> and there's some more videos here up on the screen that you can check out if you would like to. And that'll see you next time. <laughs>